Today is the 23rd of January. Many years have passed. The days and the spells of the words, you give me blood, I'll give you freedom, has long been gone. He went missing in 1945. Some say missing, some say a lot of things happened. I don't know. Of course, I'm not that knowledgeable of a person. But his words, his ideals, that spirit stays within every Indian right here. Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose. What a man. What a life. This is a man who created an army in the jungles. This is a man who gave defected and captured Indian soldiers a proper reason to fight. Shaking hands with evil to liberate India from another evil. There was no other option. Who else was fighting the British Empire? Who else could stand against the British Empire? And from whom could he, as the greatest freedom fighter of India, could go for the help? That we are being oppressed for centuries. We need help. And for that, if we have to shake the hands of the devil, we will. We did that. We gave our best with the Indian National Army to fight the British. Somewhere, people still say that it was completely the peace struggle of the Congress that made the freedom struggle possible. I don't think so. If the Indian Army under British control didn't defect to fight for the struggle of independence of India, if the Indian Army under British control didn't say that enough was enough, we wouldn't have been here as a free nation. The ideals of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose stayed with us. He fought alongside with us. And today he's just standing in the middle of a road, waving good luck to this nation. Today, my respects for this great freedom fighter. Thank you for listening.